Go. Hello, Rubes. Hello. Parent abuser. It's me eating this time. <laughs> I stole that from Ruben. Anyway, good morning. Well, actually, it's afternoon. We were meant to be out with a bunch of people today, but um, uh, through a combination of various things, oversleeping, drinking too much, dog sick, whatever, uh, we're not, we're not uh, saying it. It's just Ruben and me, a dad and his dude and his dog. This guy's down below, I think. Yeah, she's down below. So anyway, Ruben and I have an opportunity now to try something that I've been wanting to try for a while. So somebody kindly donated this head sail to us. It's from a, um, a smaller boat, so it doesn't, it's kind of pre-reefed, uh, if you like. So it's slightly smaller, the luff is slightly smaller than the 10 meter luff that I normally have. So anyway, as you'll notice, my boom is off to starboard side, and there's no boom flying this mainsail. So the reason I wanted to try this was for safety reasons mainly, because there's two things on a boat that can kill you. The one is below deck and the other one is, uh, is above deck. And the one that's above deck is the boom. So I think people die every year. There was a guy that died last year in October in the Ark uh, when they had a crash jibe and the boom hit him in the temple. So anyway, so, so yeah, so the other thing is, so the other thing is uh, that this is a catch, which means that the mast is stepped a little bit further forward than normal. The mast is also two meters shorter than the sloop and uh, because it normally flies a mizzen. Uh, so the sheet angle is actually rather perfect for doing the classic 50% bisecting the, uh, the luff. Um, and so we thought we'd give it a try. Uh, there's not much wind today, but it is working. So we've got the wind uh, kind of after the beam. So we're on a uh, broad reach at the moment. And uh, classic head sail setup. So nothing unusual there. Um, a regular square cut head sail at the bottom. And so we're somewhat mirroring that on the starboard, on sorry, on the port side with the uh, with this main. So ideally, I'd have a new sail made up for this, but given this one is free, uh, this works for now. But I think I'm actually going to sort of think seriously about actually having a main made up in the style of a jib, uh, or try different jibs because I think we could eliminate those crinkles over there. Might just be that the sail's old. So there's only about four knots of wind at the moment, which is a little bit light. But uh, we had uh, about 10 knots a second ago, and we were trucking along at about four and a half, five knots through the water, which was quite nice. But we are making way. We're definitely making way. So the, the place we started was all the way back there. That's Southampton. Um, we didn't motor most of the way. We motored to in line with um, the, the, the the cruise that cruise ship in the distance over there. This is a ferry, so we motored down to there and then flew the headsail uh, uh, and the and the main in this configuration since then. So we've actually made way pretty well, actually. Yeah. So there's a few things that would have to get worked out. So for example, if you were to put in a reef, so you see this first reef is quite deep. There's only one reefing point in here. So if you were to put in a reef, how do you do that? Uh, or is it a case of actually, if you needed to reef down the main entirely and actually put up a smaller main? Um, you know, at the moment, this one's on kind of first reef anyway that I would expect to have as a first reef. But I think the, the clue is not strengthened enough uh, in order to handle the forces that, I, you would, uh, that it would be subjected to. So it would need to be way stronger a little bit like that um, jib over there so much much stronger but uh, nevertheless as a concept i think that works so this is looking straight down the center line of the boat obviously looking aft and um, the what you can see is that i've only got one sheet uh, attached to this so it's only the working sheet at the moment we're not expecting to uh, put an attack or a jibe um, so I haven't set it up for the other side, which I will do next, but uh, only when I've worked out a different way of actually taking the boom somewhat out of commission, not taking it off until I've actually made a decision on this, but uh, certainly uh, taking it out of commission so that I could actually test the tacking and jiving. Otherwise, the way to run the lazy sheet at the moment would be across the inside of the topping lift over the boom and then back to the transom over there. So that way, should we want to put in a jibe, 
then uh, we could actually just do that automatically. I suspect that uh, the sheets could be rather short. Um, however, uh, yeah, it all still needs to be worked out. But yes, that's the idea, is that the sheet would run across there and sort of over the boom at the moment, uh, assuming the boom leaves there. If I drop the boom down on the uh, coach roof, then uh, that helps with that. But yeah, so over there, the boom, the, the sail comes across and then it flies on the, uh, on the starboard side, no problem. That gives you an idea of how little wind there is. I don't know what uh, those guys are doing. I think they're flying there. I think they're running. But they seem to be going in more or less the same direction as us. But uh, yeah, they're flying their head sail on the starboard side and their main sail on the, uh, on the port side. So yeah, it's a busy day in the Solent. Uh, we've had a few ships come in and out. There's a couple of cruise ships up in, uh, in Southampton. My trusty cabin boy is managing to stay off the crisps this morning. <laughs> uh, Rubens just pointed out that I've been using head sail and main sail interchangeably. Rubens, there's a ferry coming, my boy. You need to head a little bit more to port. Um, so, yes, obviously we're talking about the main sail, yeah. But yeah, so... This is a nice lazy day, uh, it's uh, quarter to one, uh, the plan today is to head up the Hamble, uh, go put Levin Point back on her mooring, um, and then uh, uh, my cousin's coming over with some friends to watch the Bournemouth Air Show tomorrow, and um, uh, we're going to head over to Poole, over to John Seagull, uh, and then head out with, uh, with people. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the plan for today. Um, we've got a few things I want to take off John's uh, off Levin Point as well that I've been missing on John Seagull. Uh, paddle boards and that's it. Three paddle boards, four paddle boards. In fact. The one needs to live in the car, but um, yeah. So take those off because we didn't have them for the kids' holidays and various things. And uh, it's nice to have them in pool because it's a much nicer place to go paddle boarding than out here. Hey Sky. Sky. Where's my dog? Why are you hungry? You hungry? No? Huh? Hungry? <laughs> Your food's right there. So, so the kids are the kids are comparing. Ruben steady. <laughs> the kids are uh, comparing who's done the best bouncing. So anyway, so I that's that, um, what I have. Yes, Ruben has. Uh, so anyway, so that experimenting yesterday with the um, uh, the flying a uh, mainsail without a boom turns out it's not actually so revolutionary. Um, there's loads of people that do that, in fact. Uh, Warham, uh, the catamarans, um, I think, they... Um, <laughs> they uh, I don't know how noisy that is in the background, hopefully not too noisy. So apparently they do it as well. Um, so they're actually designed to do that. They don't uh, use booms. Um, so anyway, so this is one of the little girls who's uh, who's coming sailing, who came sailing with us today for the uh, Bournemouth Air Show. So the daughter of one of my guests, um, a little five-year-old, but she's super precocious and uh, pretty smart actually. She'll make a good crew member one day. But uh, yeah, so uh, that um, video uh, about the flying without a with, with, without a boom, um, if your gooseneck fails, for example, hopefully that gives you an idea that all is not lost. So if you lose the integrity of your boom at sea and all you've got is your mast standing, your boom is off to the side, there is a way that you can actually fly your ma your your, uh, your main without needing your boom in the first place. I ideally, on a sloop, you, your, your um, a clue would be attached uh, further further aft, but uh, yeah, you can do it. Now, if you're if you're way off to sea, you'd probably be going downwind anyway. So yeah, there we go. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave us a comment, um, subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff, um, uh, and uh, yeah, let to, to, to show me pictures of whether you've uh, ever flown your mainsail without a boom.